What's up everyone, Zonova here coming at you with a new episode of Random Cues. I'm gonna answer three questions that I found on Reddit, forums, and I'm gonna give you the answers and hopefully it can help you. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the first question comes from King Chris XWD. And the question is, is Kane OP? Kane is the new champion that just came out with the patch 7.14 and it's been very controversial. Some people love it, some people think it's OP. And I'm gonna answer this question. I have a theory that I'm not sure it's right. It's like, it's always a theory that I have with new champions. For me, I, I think about it as a business. I feel like Riot Games launches a new champion. They, they make money out of people buying RPs. If Kane isn't OP when it comes out, I feel like people will just not buy it. They have to just like make it a little bit overpowered. And I know that Riot Games used to do this a lot at the very start of the game. So like for example, when Xinzao came out, it was completely insane. When LeBlanc came out, it was like just horrifying how OP it was. Kane is, I want to say OP for two reasons. The reason is that the champion just came out and Riot is maybe trying to sell it and promote it to the jungle players so that they can just try it out and, and spend money for it. And the second reason why it can be considered OP is that, well, nobody knows how to play against it. Nobody knows what to expect in terms of damage, in terms of mobility, in terms of like scaling into the late game, in terms of like team fight potential, all that. So people don't understand what's coming to them and they're like, this is OP, I don't know what's going on. But you'll see that after a patch or two, things will just settle in, people will know how to count counter a cane, there, there will be guide to how to counter cane, something that I would do maybe in the future. Because if a champion comes out and it's not fitted to a meta and nobody buys it, it's a huge waste of investment for them and it's, they're just they're just losing money out of it. So yeah, they make sure it's fitted to the meta so it's going to be a little bit better than the average champion. Not like broken, but just better than the average. And the second one is that just people don't know what's going on with it. Some people don't know how to play it and some people have no idea what's coming to them if it's in the enemy team. Question number two guys is how to counter Dustblade meta. Question from Barbaz on the subreddit Summer School. With the 7.14 uh, patch, Dustblade is becoming the number one item on all assassins. Uh, it's definitely the most worth it, like cost effective item I want to say, in terms of like lethality and just overall pricing, the price has one gone down, the proc um, of damage on the auto attack is insane, so champions like Zed, Rengar, Pantheon are just like blooming with that, like they're just so good and this meta of Dustblade is just going to go for a while, it's a little bit comparable to the Blade of the Rune King meta that we used to have a year or two ago. So how do you counter this, this meta? So first of all, if it's a meta, it means that technically right now, there's nothing better than it, but there's always ways you can uh, block it or just counter it, but there's not going to be a very, there's not going to be a one single counter that will just do it. The first thing is that, uh, something you have to know is that Dustblade Dust Blake gives you flat lethality and not armor reduction in percentage, so building armor will be more worth it than actually building health in the game. So make sure you build armor, like you get some tabi, tabi, uh, ninja tabais, because the proc comes from an auto attack, so if you get ninja tabais you'll take less damage from the actual auto attack. And make sure you get some armor with runes, so for example uh, the, the seals, so the yellow runes, make sure you have armor on that, and make sure you build health and armor. Those are the only thing that you can do with an itemization to counter the dustblade items when it's for against assassin. The second thing would be to have an exhaust in your team, and exhaust can counter the, f the very burst of damage from Dustblade, and just decrease like decrease the, the burst. And, but all, obviously, this is very this is very um, timing sensitive. It means that if you put the exhaust one second after, it won't just matter. Dustblade is like a one shot in situation. Sometimes you can't even react to it. Uh, but a very well-timed exhaust can make the difference. The other thing that I've been seeing on professional player stream is the return of the pick Kale. Kale, which has an ultimate called Intervention, I think, that makes you um, invincible for a certain amount of second, and that can also absorb the burst and just uh, make sure that the dust blade burst doesn't go off on a, on a squishy target such as a carry or like a support or stuff like that. So those are r stuff that you need to go through but understand that we are in a meta where dust blade shines and that it's going to be hard to counter it because it is the most optimized items right now in the game and we're just going to have 
like we're gonna have a patch or two of the Fally and uh, Assassins all over the place. So yeah, those are those are ways to counter it if you want to counter it, but there's not a really precise single counter to this. It's OP, the patch is like that, the game changes. It's the it's time for Dustbite to shine, but it will change soon enough, don't worry. And the last question, guys, is from a scale to 1 to 10, how hard would it be to pick up Katarina? A question from Invoke Evo. Learning new champion is always something just challenging because obviously you don't know the spells, you don't know the combos, like you're not familiar with everything. But especially Katarina, I think it's an amazing champion that I've hard I've had a hard time myself getting into, especially after the the change, the recent uh, rework, I want to call it. And my tips on this would be to watch people play on stream and on YouTube. Recently, guys, I've discovered a Katarina OTP called Flyer Beck. I will post the link in the, of his channel down below. He is like a 100,000 subscriber uh, YouTuber, and he only plays Katarina. And I started to watch a video or two of him, and I started really to get into it. And what he does with Katarina is absolutely insane. The reason why it's challenging and it's hard to get into a new champion like Katarina is that it's a champion that goes in, in inside a team fight, and one mistakes will get you one shot it. So it's a very like chirurgical champion. Like you have to be perfect in the timing. You have to know the range of all your spells, and you just have to get like muscle memory involved because well, it's gonna sound like this. Like you're gonna you're gonna spam your keyboard like that, and it's just gonna go very fast. So go check out Flyer just to get a just to get a. A sense of what a good cat arena is. I mean, he's an amazing cat arena. He has like over 5,000 games of it, which is almost more than all the games I've ever done in League of Legends. So, yeah, go check him out. But I would say it's a pretty hard task. Make sure you have the good runes, make sure you have the good masteries, and make sure you have a sense of how the laning phase is going, what he's doing on the on the, on the the team fight phase, what is his role, what does he build, and all of that. So yeah, I hope that answers those three questions, guys. So it's Kane OP. How do you counter the Dust Blade meta, and how hard is it to play Katarina? I hope I helped you guys, and I'll see you for the next one. If you need me to answer some of your questions, make sure you tweet at me, at Zonobra, and I'll make sure you'll be featured on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you for the next one, guys. Cheers. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cards and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do? Penthouse, man, what a view. Fall back as I'm coming through with my.